Making the transition from, let's say, college grad to professional, or just taking your style from here to there, is a big and very important leap. Now, you're probably already someone who's always cared to some degree about how you dress and how you present yourself to the world, but you're entering a different phase of your life now, and it's time to make some changes. And in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 easy upgrades that you can make right now. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you are watching He Spoke Style, where we are dedicated to giving you all the tips, knowledge, and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. Number one, let's talk about how you carry your things around. Now, instead of a backpack or a beat up old canvas messenger bag, let's go to a briefcase. There are a variety of options to fit any type of lifestyle or personality. As a casual option, I really like a classic Filson. On the other end of the spectrum, super professional and very luxe, something leather from Frank Clegg. And then somewhere in the middle, the Carry Briefcase by Stuart and Lau is a great option. Number two, jeans. I remember being in college and wearing my jeans until they pretty much disintegrated off my body. So it's time to invest in a pair of slim, dark denim. Sure, you can wear them casually, but they also look incredible when you pair them with a nice blazer for something more on the business casual side. Fit, we want them to be slim, but not painted on. Number three, instead of that college sweatshirt, let's go to a nice sweater. If you're in an industry where you don't necessarily have to wear a tie that often, I would recommend going with a crew neck. If you are going to wear a tie more often, a V-neck is a great option. It looks good on its own, and it also makes a great layering piece for under a blazer. And I would make sure to find one in a nice, thin merino wool. Number four, let's upgrade your tie from a cheap tie to something nicer. The tie bar has lots of options and very low prices. Yes, when I first started to improve my personal style, the tie bar was my go-to. However, the quality is very low and the ties are far too narrow. If you step up into something like a Drake's, for example, or Brooks Brothers or Nordstrom's house brand, you will feel and see a difference. It's more professional and it looks like you mean business. Number five, it's time to go from that 10 to $25 watch to something a little more respectable. Now, I'm not saying you've gotta drop thousands of dollars to do this. There are a lot of great options in that 150 to $500 price range. Specifically, I would take a look at Seiko, the SNE039, 489, or the SUP880 are all very nice and affordable options. If you want something more casual, take a look at the Seiko SKX007 or the Hamilton Field Khaki Mechanical. Number six, for a casual shirt, let's get rid of that old ratty t-shirt and replace it with a chambray or denim shirt. What I love most about these types of shirts is their ability to take the formality out of a dressier look. Wear it with a suit, it dresses it down. Business casual, same thing. It will unlock a whole new dimension to your wardrobe, making it infinitely more versatile. Number seven, sneakers. Don't be wearing your running shoes or your gym shoes when you're out on the town. Instead, it's time to step into something, no pun intended, a little more grown up like a minimal leather sneaker. Personally, I think white is a great option, both in terms of versatility and adding contrast, but depending on your style, you might want to opt for something brown or black. Number eight, sticking with footwear. If you're a fan of wearing boots, let's take those casual boots and upgrade them to a nice Chelsea boot. Chelsea boots are very comfortable, very easy to slip on and off. They look amazing and pair very naturally with jeans, and you can also wear them with a suit for a very sleek look. Number nine, a belt. Again, I remember when I was in college, I wore like the same belt every single day. It was a little too wide, it got really stretched out, the holes got bigger, it just didn't look good anymore. So this is a really easy item to upgrade. For something with the most versatility, you wanna go with a dark brown or oxblood color leather belt. Uh, from more of a business outfit perspective, I would choose both a black and a dark brown belt. Number 10, it's time to get rid of that fast fashion blazer. It's probably a little too short. The lapels are probably too narrow. The fit, I'm gonna wager, is not perfect. You're going to want to step up into something custom that fits well and that reflects where you are in life. I have reviewed several of the most popular brands and options for made to measure and really great fitting, 
great quality off the rack, including Indochino, Bonobo, Suit Supply, and more. You can find them all right over there in that playlist. So hop on over there, do some research, and I know you will find the right option for you.